support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. Um, and it's a late one, but it's some bad news, a bad news about Scott McTominay. But before we get into the news, um, if you're new to the channel, please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, we United X, and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. So yes, it's Scott McTominay. Unfortunately, um, as everyone should know, Manchester United has obviously won thankfully 4-1 against Newcastle United at Old Trafford but unfortunately Scott McTominay was actually injured in that game um, he called into the Daily Mail he left Old Trafford in crutches um, Solskjaer basically in his, in his post-match conference said he's done his knee ligaments in which is not good he doesn't know how bad and he'll wait a medical obviously the following day um, Solskjaer then go and say the boy's got the biggest heart and we've seen him heal quickly before as we obviously, obviously uh, we saw beforehand and, but I'm not sure if he's going to be ready for Saturday Solskjaer added um, so yeah he's basically done his knee in um, is what Scott McTominay's done um, and that doesn't sound like a particularly good injury if I'm honest um, it's a bit of a blow it definitely means he's not going to be fit for Burnley I would probably say a stretch he's probably not going to be fit for Arsenal either um, I could certainly see McTominay uh, missing out on a, on a few games, but uh, Burnley obviously asked them, possibly City. Um, the positive is that unlike last time when McTominay was injured, we have at least Paul Pogba back. But what does this mean for Paul Pogba in the sense that Paul Pogba will now probably play a much deeper role than the number ten role, because um, because Pogba will play will be playing in in the place of McTominay in that CDM position, and therefore possibly a Pereira or Lingard or Mata will play in the number ten. Which is a bit disappointing, but I think that's that's just how it's going to go. Um, but again, it's a big blow because although I feel that Fred in recent games is actually playing playing slightly better than McTominay, McTominay has been the pivot in that midfield, and both McTominay and Fred have given us a somewhat stable midfield in the absence of Paul Pogba. So with with Scott McTominay being injured for goodness knows how long, and I potentially may post a follow up video as to how long McTominay is out. We don't know as of yet, but all we know is that he's basically done his knee his knee or ligaments in his knee, um, which is usually not a good sign, frankly. Um, at the very least, I would anticipate that McTominay will be out for a month, um, but possibly less, given the fact that he was back quicker last time. I'll bet, you know, um, maybe hurriedly so, given the fact that he was rushed. But anyway... Um, it's a shame because we obviously did a, had a positive result and here's hoping that Scott McTominay will come back soon. Thanks to everyone who's watching or listening. Please like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X. Smash that notification button for latest, new, latest in Manchester United news and consider supporting us on Patreon as well. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.